Welcome to the Cancun Vlogging Vlog. Okay, I'm doing the best. Y'all, I am in Cancun. Okay, for my girl. Ashley's birthday weekend. If you guys don't know who she is, she is also known as From Head to Curve here on YouTube. Y'all know Ashley. Y'all know her. Why am I whispering? Because it's mad quiet, okay? And I feel like me yelling is doing the most. But we are here in Cancun, okay? We about to cut up, cut a mug. Actually, I, we're, I am completely lying because all I want to do is relax, relax. I am definitely in my soft girl era. But you know, we'll try to spice it up a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm here for sun, sand, good food, good drinks. We're at an all-inclusive resort. So you know that everything is going to be flowing this weekend. I'm super excited to bring you guys along with everything we cut up. Okay, all right. So, if y'all ready to come along with us on this grown and sexy, okay, because we all grown up on this trip, birthday trip, then give this video a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and roll these clips in three, two, one. You guys can see my outfit very well also don't know what this is but this is my first outfit of the night comfort okay is key all right ignore the mess okay <laughs> but this is the dress i'm wearing this is the dress i had on i got in la from asos it's super fun all has all the colors as y'all can see, it has this little sexy little split. It's actually supposed to be longer, but I find that the midi length looks better with the shoes I have on because one thing about me, I'm gonna be comfortable on vacation. It's super lightweight, so that's my favorite thing about it. I have on like some chafe, anti-chafe gel, and I think that's what got on the dress. But you know what? We move! This bag is Amazon, no longer linkable, so that's the OTD. Uh, this is what happens when you reach a certain age. You start, yeah. whoo, in the eye. You know? Knees get still. Mine is my back. Okay. That's what my trainer got me doing all these exercises, which I hate.
Oh my god, y'all, yesterday was such a whirlwind. How did I almost miss my flight? Did I tell y'all that? Mm -hmm. Because all of a sudden I woke up that morning and I cannot find my keys and my wallet. And when I say that God just be coming through, while I was looking for everything, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go shower, I'm going to get ready, I'm going to act like I'm going on this trip, because all of my cards, my ID, everything I needed was literally in my wallet. And I was like, okay, the bank opens early, I may be able to go get like a new debit card, but then you need your ID. Well, I had my passport because it was international. So I was like, well, I don't need technically my ID because it's international, I can use my passport. Anyways. I was just praying as I was getting ready and then I remembered that the day before um, I went to get my hair done that I didn't want to take a purse so I decided to put everything in like a little bag. Y'all, when I say the nick of time, I got to the airport in the nick of time. I also ended up getting clear because um, I have clear with one of my credit cards and I just had never set it up. So I got to the airport at the nick of time, used my clear to skip the line, got myself some Starbucks, and as soon as I got to my gate, they started boarding. First of all, I am such a star I I'm such a Southwest like stan. Someone was trying to tell me that Southwest is like spirit. Anyway, I've flown spirit, okay, I've flown American, I've flown all the airlines, and I always go back to Southwest because it's such a seamless, it's such a seamless reservation process like you don't have to go through 50 billion pages of them trying to add on dumb stuff like i remember when you bought your good ticket it came with a seat i didn't have to go through 500 different pages about people trying to upsell me for a seat upsell me to get get to the gate early like with southwest there's four options you know and each option comes with what you want i always go with the second option the second highest option because i'm not trying to i don't need to be the first on the plane okay but that option you get your two um free bags that fly that you can check in if you're a contact reader you know you need luggage so you get on with that when you get on usually get on an a boarding so you get on the plane first so you always have a seat and it's super simple like you can literally cancel the flight like an hour before it boards or change it in like an hour before it boards so i've just become a southwest loyal and i, re I really need to get a card because i need to start racking up some of these points but anyways so that was all that um made it to cancun and um can i say i don't know i feel like they they manually put bags on the conveyor belts in cancun because it always takes forever to get your bags now what i like about this resort versus the last one that i stayed at they have transportation built into the resort the last place i stayed at it cost me basically a flight ticket to get to the resort and back 250 dollars round trip i was like jesus christ like just to get to the resort now it is in like the extension area of cancun like this new area where they're um setting up new properties so maybe that's why they haven't really figured out their transportation but it's so expensive but yeah so that was the ordeal getting to cancun then um after we did that everybody else's flight was delayed mine was the only one that was on time so i actually got here before everyone and i was able to get some work done and then we all kind of took a few a little beat to refresh and we went to dinner oh my god it was so fun catching up with the girls we had steak i think we went to the steakhouse on the property i wore this dress from asos so for you there's a picture somewhere or a video somewhere <laughs> so you guys can see what it's from um i also wore this actually the last time i was in cancun i love the dress it's so lightweight and easy it doesn't really wrinkle like that and it has a cute little slit you know a little color Caliente, you know, make it a little spicy. Just kikied and caught up and talk shop, and um, it was super fun. So yeah, today is probably more of the same. <laughs> and what I love about us as a group is that we kind of have the same temperament. We like to vacation the same. I want to know. Let me know in the um, comments what kind of vacationer are you? Are you a itinerary get up at the crack of dawn? Let's go see. All the sights adventure type or are you a like let's chill by the pool and sip some pina coladas maybe a couple of shots type let me know in the comments because i feel like we really fit each other because we are all pretty chill and for me that's how you vacation okay if i have to be 
up at the crack of dawn, like I'm clocking in, that's not fun for me. All right, I'm done yabbering. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>of the day toward swim top old forever 21 bottoms mesh h&m marie costello necklaces amazon bracelet shein glasses etsy woven bag and that my dears is the outfit of the day i'm thinking of switching this out to some leopard bottoms but i'm already late so i think i'm just gonna go with it and stop being a big baby <laughs>
need some Red Bull. You know, wake everybody oh, up. Wait a minute. Why could you get 30 minutes late? <laughs> Y'all, they're judging me. Wait, 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 Genetic uh, predisposition of lateness. Hi. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bacon? Mm -hmm. Toast. Okay. 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 Thank you. It is time to grab like I don't know what. Y'all, so right now I'm heading out to meet the girls. We're gonna go to the spa. Listen, we got a little preview. I'm trying not to show y'all all the crap in this room. We got a little preview of what they had going in the spa yesterday by the pool. And when I say baby, yeah, I am ready to be on that table. So let's go. Y'all energy. Is it this? Was it the sun, or is it the sun? Y'all, we're in like you know the antechamber. It's nice. Have a little pool right there. I love the blue on the behind. Y'all, so we survived the Arctic and the desert and now hey, <laughs> she's about to get into the plunge the cold plunge i need it now because i'm hot again okay, okay. Oh, all right. oh look at her taking it like a g y'all i was screaming Ooh. who's counting So we made it through, or we made it. I almost froze my butt off, but, oh, Lord. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Y'all, how do we end up in the men's area? Only us. We about to go get some shots. spot. I don't know if y'all saw when it was time for us to get out. Um, we went to the men's section by mistake. That was hilarity. Also, I would actually recommend going into the hot plunge first before going into the cold plunge because it's not as bad the second time around. Anyways, we are back in our rooms. So basically, just get some decompression time before we have our final dinner. I'm so sad. Of course, being a content creator, today was like my content day. Um, I still am not really done getting the content I want. 
I'm probably gonna have to get up super early tomorrow to kind of just get some shots of the resort so you guys can see and then share my final thoughts on the resort. Right now, I'm giving the resort a 6.75. That's, that's, that's my verdict as of right now. I will come back later in the video and tell you why I decided to give it a 6.75. Maybe it's because the first time I went to an all-inclusive in Cancun, it was literally top tier, but like everything. So that's basically what I'm basing it on. Like this is not a bad spot. But also I think I'm also salty because we ended up paying like top dollar because we switched to the resort last minute. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell y'all the whole drama. I'll tell y'all when I give you the tea on the resort. just got back from dinner i mean the ocean literally stunning right now i don't know if you guys can see me y'all see me i think you can yeah so just got back from dinner i need to pack we're attempting we're gonna attempt and try to catch sunset in the morning it is 11 31 if we're gonna catch it that means we have to be up by 6 30 yeah by 6 30 so i'm trying to decide if it's wise to shower now or shower in the morning showering now would actually be wise because that means i could pack up all of my or most of my like body care and that kind of stuff we'll see anyways uh, it was just beautiful you know being amongst peers, chatting about just life, the industry, everything going on. I'm just going to watch a couple of vlogs because, you know, there's nothing better, you know, than find distraction when you're trying to procrastinate. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to try and get all of this together. I have a question. When you go on vacation, do you unpack your whole suitcase or do you live through your suitcase. Is that the right question? I don't know. I'm tired. Um, I'll see y'all in a little bit or maybe in the morning, probably.
good. It looks like skin. That's good. I think it's Even my friends were like, bro, what's going on with you? I said, I don't know. This stuff is not for me. When I was younger, I didn't know that. I was like, I knew I was pregnant. 